What's up, Andrew Phoenix? This is Tech Nine from AndrewTechLoveBoxPod.com, and today I got an HP Touch Rail with me with CM10 Jelly Bean on it, and I'm going to be doing a review on it. So let's get started. By the way, let's just turn it on and let's see what they have. As you can see right here, you got the bubble lock screen, just like any other Jelly Bean device or ROM. So let's, let's look at this now. As you can see right away, you got the same layout. It's the same as any other Jelly Bean device. Except many people have been saying this is unstable, but I have actually haven't experienced any problems except the ones that have been stated, such as like the microphone not working and the speaker. So let's just try the the speaker real quick and let, let me show you. Pretty sure, yeah, I have it right here. So let's just try a ringtone out and let's see if it works. It shouldn't be working. Let's make sure the volume is on. There we go. The volume's on. Let's just try it out. See, uh, you can't even listen to the ringtone. So that is one misfortune. I know microphone doesn't work as well. Web browsing is pretty good. Everything on the keyboard doesn't lag. As you can see, it's responsive, super responsive. No lag at all. So just like any other Jelly Bean device. Oh, it's happened on one of the apps, but uh, any like just like any other Jelly Bean device, it's super responsive because of Project Butter. So let's actually take a quick look at the Quadrant score. So you can compare it with your CM9 or WebOS if you're using WebOS. So let's just go into the Play Store real quick. Where is it? There we go, Play Store. And let me install Quadrant real quick, guys, for you so you can see the Quadrant score. Alright, so you can compare with your device or even your HB tablet that may, might be on CM9 if you're a type of person who likes speed over the the Jelly Bean device or anything like that or the, the feel of anything you care about more speed then you can try this out so let's actually let's go it's in quadrants open it up all the applications are closed there let the camera focus okay and now let's run the full benchmark. Okay, it's running the full benchmark. So we'll be back when this is done. Okay, it's done, so let's just take a look at it, see if we can turn it. Alright, we can't turn it, but, alright, yes. Sharing the results. Alright, it's not, oh, you can turn it. There we go, that's a better angle. So let's see. Your device scored 2,348. You can probably see that better on the white. Let's focus a little bit. Maybe not. Alright, but it got 2,000. We're in a little battery. Alright, so it got 2,348. So that scored third to the lowest ones right here. It beat the Nexus S and the HD Desire. Um, it did not beat the tablet or the HTC One X, but I would say that's not a bad score. You do not overclock it. It's just on the stock CM10 Jelly Bean that's been ported or whatever. And WebOS isn't even made to handle Android, so they even got an Android installed on here and all that, so that's pretty cool. I wouldn't say that's a bad score. I would say that's a big, that's a good thumbs up for that score. And obviously, you can always install new kernels and all that to make it improve it even more, because this is a stack CM10. You can overclock it, install new kernels, or anything like that. So that's a pretty good score. Let's just take a look at the keyboard and all that. Let's go into the browser and see the keyboard and see how response to that is I haven't experienced any like software problems at all only the microphone and speakers so far web browsing is really quick and all that so you can see that's quick there's no lag at all it just it's very smooth when I say smooth I mean smooth yeah there's no lag at all you might experience some lag with CM9 on ice cream sandwich but this one has absolutely no lag at all that's why I love jelly bean at, or Google has outdone themselves, so that's really great. So that's just a review, quick overview of how of CM10 Jelly Bean on your HP Touchpad, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, well, I don't know. Go find another video, guys. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. And if you want to contact me for any help on any Android-related problem, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. I will have all links in the description below. And if you need an emergency, like your phone's not working or anything like that, hit me up on techfinite9 at gmail.com. You can contact me and I will respond within any places 
social networks or Gmail within 24 hours. I'll see you in the next video, guys.